because I'm an idiot who loves Paradox games to absolute death, I bought Imperator Rom on release. Just looking at the Steam charts proves what a ridiculous decision that was. Holy shit. Keep in mind for a second that Imperator Rome came out last year in 2019 and has less active players than Victoria 2, which is a game that came out 10 years ago. And I love Victoria 2, but how did Paradox fuck this up so badly? And if you're wondering that, I'm going to try and tell you in this video. So the biggest thing I found in Imperator Rome that really bugged me is the lack of flavour in anything. You can play the map really easily, it's like not a very difficult grand strategy game, but as you're playing it you're just like, man, nothing matters. It's a lot like real life in that way and that you just, it feels empty, it feels soulless, there's so many mechanics and systems and none of them have any weight to them at all. And I like some of the systems, I'm like, hey, the mercenary change is great, so much better than a U4. The combat, honestly, it, it felt very satisfying, but the actual end goal, like combat, didn't matter. It had characters like CK2 but with none of the actual finality or risk or consequence that comes of losing an important character in CK2. It doesn't matter, you will always get new characters, your dynasty doesn't matter, your house doesn't matter, none of that matters. All that matters is that you get a new character anyway, so who, why get invested in this character like that you're playing as? Especially if you're a public and you're constantly changing character. It has pops like Vicky2, oh how exciting, except the consequence of losing your pops isn't nearly as bad and it really pops are really just slavery in a nutshell in the game and it still has less interesting slavery than Vicky 2. Losing your population isn't even that much of a catastrophic event. If you lose your, a lot of population Vicky 2 your game's over you might as well like just end it like, accept your fate. In Imperator like who cares like that's my attitude towards the whole game there's no investment anywhere because there are no consequences for anything it's just copying a bunch of systems from much better games with much better flavor. Even Stellaris is more interesting than Imperator Rome. Even Rome is boring in Imperator Rome. This is a nation with so much history and character that you could get in the there's no character in that game. You don't feel like you're playing as Rome, you feel like you're playing as the Red Boys in the middle of Italy. That's it. You don't like it doesn't matter. Caesar doesn't show up and go, alright, I'm taking this shit over. There's no sure there are references to stuff like plebs, but there isn't there isn't any of that majesty involved in Rome. Like, what is this game? This game has no soul. If I saw this man on the street, I wouldn't know who this man is. If you're looking for an actually good game where you can be Rome and be really cool, I would recommend playing as Vicky 2 and trying to form Byzantium. God damn it.